Hello everybody, welcome back to Chibi Robo. So, I'm having to record this in a slightly different way than the previous episodes have been, so hopefully it'll still look consistent. Anyhow, it's night, no, it's daytime now. That's right. Last time we got the frog suit and a bunch of other stuff. Is there anything else we can buy? We can buy the car, we can buy the space scrambler. Again, I don't, there's not, we don't really have a use for that. Uh, we can get the living room bridge. Oh, this, the bridges are the last type of thing. The last type of utilibot. So the bridges basically allow you to cross horizontal distances in good ways. Bridge that extends far, placed on top of the bookcase, and then the kitchen bridge, a bridge that stretches far, placed near the planter. Well, we'll build those when we get the chance. I guess I'll show off because I've got the cash. Uh, we can fill up the Giga Battery if you have enough money. Oh! I think you can probably charge it if you're willing to shout at the Moolah. It looks like the Giga Battery doesn't have any energy stored up at all. I think it's going to take a whole lot of juice to charge that Giga Battery up, Chibi Robo. We can't charge it from the outlets in the house. That would break the family's bank. So what say we do our best and save up some Moolah and pay from it from, off from our own pockets? Do you want to charge it? Sure. 1,000 kilowatts equals 1,000 money. How many kilowatts will you charge? So you have to do it in increments of the 1,000. So let's just put in 1,000 now. That'll take 1,000 of our moolah. We'll give it 1,000 kilowatts. Gave it a little bit of juice. More cheer over more. The Giga battery has charged 1,000 kilowatts. It needs 10,000 kilowatts in order to get fully charged. So that's 10,000 moolah. Tell you, you gotta stop doing this. Anyhow, it's daytime, Woody. <laughs> Got a couple things we wanna do today. First things first, we should probably go to the parents' bedroom. So that's like the one place we really haven't explored yet. Also, I think we have some frog raids for Jenny. We got two frog rings for Jenny, as a matter of fact. Also, it's the dad. We haven't talked to him in a while. Yawn, man, the news is boring. What a snore fest. Hey, Chibi. Can you change the channel, buddy? Oh, by the way, cause I, I, I'm asking because I'm too lazy to reach the remote, even though it's right next to me. Did you pick up my garbage? Thanks, Chibi Robo. You saved my butt. I'm too much of a slob to do it myself. <laughs> but you made me happy. <laughs> you got ten happy boys. You got ten new Spread the happiness. <laughs> That's that, okay. Well, let's change the channel for the dad. Wow, this is a new level of lazy. Like, I consider myself to be a lazy person. I, I need to work on that. I'm not that lazy, not even close, so. <laughs> you know what, by comparison, I'm not as bad, but I'm still bad, so. Where is that remote? I literally think it's just on the table right next to it. Or, oh no, maybe. Maybe it's not a remote. Maybe I think we actually have to go physically go up to the TV to change the channel. Oh, well, we'll do that in a bit. Hey, Jenny. Wow, that's good. Oh, it's a photo of me sleeping with Jenny in her bed. Look, Ribbit. Ribbit, maybe? Yes, I like it. Yay, Ribbit. Jenny just gave you 13 happy points. You got 20 moolah. Spread the happiness. Ribbit, gimme, ribbit. Sure. Jenny, you gotta pick up your trash. Now, ribbit. Also, we got the frog suit last time. What happens if we talk to Jenny while wearing it? Ribbit. Oh. Did the evil frog wizard put a curse on you too, Chibi Robo? Um, yes. Yeah, that's what I thought, just like me. Well, it looks very good on you. <laughs> Jenny just gave you 66 happy points! 
Spread the happiness. Spread the happiness. Uh, yeah, if you wear the frog suit, Jenny thinks you're a frog too and will actually talk to you normally. I can only speak to other frogs. So, how do you do, rabbit? I mean, ribbit. <laughs> hey, I bet that suit would let you speak to real frogs too, right? That's how the suit works. Yay! Chibi Robo cleaned up my mess. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> That's the way I exist. Everyone's like, Chibi Robo, I'm too lazy to walk two inches to pick up this waste paper. You've got to do it for me. <laughs> Thanks, Rabbit. I mean, Ribbit. <laughs> Jenny just gave you 10 happy points. Man, I'm rolling into happy points. And you got 10 bucks. Spread the happiness. All right, well, before we go to the bedroom, let's change the channel for the dad. Wow. Oh, it's Drake Redcrest on top of the TV. <laughs> the, the most important place in the whole house. <laughs> Drake Redcrest really deserves it. Like, does he? Oh, yeah, sure, sure enough, he's watching Fox News. Or Faux News, actually. Hey, Drake Redcrest. Oh, yeah, it's Toy Story. He doesn't actually move when there are people in the room. I think you've watched enough TV for today. What in the... Hey! Hold it, hold it, whoa! Space Hunter Drake Red Crest is off! <laughs> you couldn't do that yourself, Dad. Dad just gave you 19 happy points for making it so he didn't have to get off his lazy butt and do it himself. And he got 50 bucks. Spread the happiness. <laughs> There are only two things on TV. There's the news and there's Drake Redcrest. Oh, they just have the default channel, so Drake Redcrest must be on PBS, kids. <laughs> Literally, the dad just has to get up, walk a few steps, change the channel. They only have two channels, so obviously that's the Drake Redcrest channel. If he wants to watch it, that's, that's on him. Drake Redcrest is my man! <laughs> you think that's cool? Check this out. Wow! A space hunter Drake Redcrest caught- Oh wait, I think we've seen this. I'm in a frog suit. Yikes! Yeah, no thanks, Bob. I don't really care for frogs. Oh, poor Jenny. Ribbit. Oh, look at you dressing up like Jenny. Why don't you go show her? I bet she'd get a kick out of it. I just remembered a dream I had that you were not cleaning up the house. I saw you walk by those paw prints. Whenever I have that dream, the house just seems to sparkle in the morning. Thank you, Chiba. Mom just gave you ten happy points. Well, you got ten dollars. Spread the happiness. I've already gotten a lot of happy points today. Like, holy cow. Another detour we're gonna do is, I think we can do more of the Free Rangers training today. I only have to go into the mom and dad's bedroom for a little bit, so... You wanna begin jungle training? Sure. Woohoo! This exercise teaches you to shoot a cow instead of your fellow soldiers! Alright, climb this vine to head into the jungle. Oh wait, I should have charged before doing this. You'll encounter all kinds of stuff in the jungle. Intelligence indicates animals. And enemies are in the area. Eliminate all of the enemies without harming the animals. Then use your chibi copter to fly down to the drop point. You're free rangers! You're hard-boiled! Go, go, go! Yeah, I totally forgot to charge up before doing this, and I absolutely will need to do that. And the timer doesn't stop for this. Oh, fantastic. Oh, you're fully recharged. I bet I can still pass. Hurry it up, 
soldier, I'm sorry. I fought, I fully charged at the start of this. My record is one minute. I don't care what your record is, move out of the way. I just... Hoorah, keep it up. Yeah, so this we get to climb up to the planter, which is only possible in jungle training. Otherwise you have to fly down from above. You're no robot, you're a slack bot. Well, that's, that's just rude. I'm not gonna do it. Hurry up, soldier! Oh, forget this. Forget this, I'm warping away. Are you trying to cheat, Shell Soldier? Do not attempt to warp! <laughs> I didn't know that that happened if you did that. Jungle training failed! <laughs> I actually didn't know you that that happened. You want to begin jungle training again and not cheat this time? Yes. Hurrah! No, I don't need training instructions. Is that all you got? Great encouragement. A plus. Man, the, the, the Sanderson's planter is just absolutely crazy tall. And, like, the leaves are just dangling down everywhere, right? Alright, here we go. This is where you need to go, and now we can climb up even more. And hopefully we're about to reach the planter. Is that all you got? No, it's not. So I believe you have to do this in a minute and 36 seconds. It's actually kind of a tight time limit. Oh, look at all the trash on that shelf. Holy cow. Alright, now we're actually in the planter. DO NOT HURT THE ANIMALS! Eliminate all of the enemy forces. There's an enemy there. That's an animal. We don't want to hit that. Animal there. Man. Get in. Alright! Get a move on to the drop point! And now we can pull out our copter. And just hover down, making sure to touch the landing. Just line up your shadow, and bada bing, bada boom. Finish! Oh no. Jungle training time, 1 minute, 38 seconds, 56 milliseconds! You passed jungle training! The warp is still activated! It's still activated! So it just gave you 30 free happy points. Spread the happiness. Next up is waterfall training! You soldiers are a disgrace! Chibi Robo is more of a ranger than any of you ever will be! Dude, you, you gotta stop being so harsh. Alright, well, before we attempt that training, I've learned my lesson. We're plugging in first. Your energy's full. Are you going to say? No. Alright, let's go. You want to do the waterfall draining? Okay, so he said like when I activated the warp uh, that like I, that was cheating because you could warp to the top and just hover right down into the planter, and he didn't want that. Head to the waterfall. We haven't been here yet. This will make your mind sharper than a dagger and your body harder than steel. Listen up! I do not want to repeat myself. March straight down this way, soldier. You'll eventually reach the waterfall. When you get there, you'll have to climb to the top and meet up with Private Frisco. You're free rangers! You're hard-boiled! Go, go, go! So this is kind of like a, just an obstacle course. 
kind of like jungle training, but a little simpler and also a little more complicated. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the space tunnel up here, which is really weird. Like, <laughs> the dad's like, I have a great home improvement idea. Let's paint stars inside of this, like, air filter. It's like, what purpose does that have? It'll be cool. <laughs> Hover across here. They will shoot at you occasionally. You can put on the mug if necessary, but you can't climb ladders if you have the mug on. And it's much easier to just hover all this way. Hey, Private Frisco. Finish! Waterfall training time, one minute, eight milliseconds! You passed waterfall training! I don't think that's actually milliseconds. It might be. So I just gave you 33 happy points. Spread the happiness. You've completed every training course! You soldiers are a disgrace! He's not like, good job, Chibi Robo. He's like, you guys suck! Chibi Robo is more of a ranger than any of you slackers will ever be! They're like, how many times do we have to hear that? And the warp is still activated. I love it. <laughs> you have to put your core back. I actually never knew that. Jenny, when she was here at midnight, dropped a midnight snack and had midnight had a midnight snack and dropped midnight trash. Thanks, Jenny. And we're in the parents' bedroom. This is an interesting room. The very first thing we're going to want to do when we're in here is climb up here. Because remember, the mom closed, like, the cat flaps? We can open them. Oh! It looks like you can use this to climb up! He really does- Chibi Robo really does look like a monkey when he's climbing, mainly because his cord looks like a tail. You don't have to point that out to me, I can see that. That was very important. And now... Cat flaps open. You opened the peephole! Now you can pass through here at night! Yeah, because you have to visit the door at night for the mom to close the cat flaps, and then you need to come in the daytime to open them. And, oh, we got these comf comfortable sofa pillows. And is that a frog? That is a frog. What's it doing here? What's wrong, Chibi Robo? Huh? What's that? Let's go and have a closer look. It looks like a frog, but how horrible! Who could have done such a thing? You think it could have been Tao? Yeah, it has bite marks on its chest. Uh, it, I don't think Tao's allowed in this room. Yeah, you're right. He already has plenty of food and bones and stuff. Then who could have? Huh? Chibi-Robo, uh, something's over there! It's a weird drawing of Drake Redcrest. Huh? Wait a minute! There really 
was something over there. I'm gonna go take a look. Yeah, he's got bite marks on him. I'm a frog dude, I'll help you out. You need the frog suit for this. Lego dinosaur. What a pal. <laughs> yeah, my teeth. You're made of metal. <laughs> yep, I am. Goodness gracious! I can't be running around without my teeth! Hey, boy! Hold on there, you little varmint! I need my teeth! All your teeth are right here. Dina teeth. So we could just be a jerk and walk off, but we won't. Hey, that whippersnapper! Give me my teeth! Thanks, Junior. This ain't much, but you go on and take it. Dinah just gave you 52 happy points. You got one more. <laughs> I didn't realize I was talking to Koopa Koot here. Spread the happiness. I mistook you for one of them Dane frogs. What do you expect? My eyes are going. And you was dressed all in green. I guess it was fate that brought us together. Stop by if you need anything, you hear? Bye now. Yeah, Dinah's a female, like, Lego Mega Block dinosaur. And <laughs> she's awesome. <laughs> well, oh wait, hang on. Oh, the frog is over here now. We should actually keep the suit on. What happened to Ribbit? It was a nice fellow right. I've gotta get back to Frida on the double, Ribbit. Will you take me to the backyard, Ribbit? Sure. Really, truly, Ribbit? I'm counting on you, Ribbit. Passed out frog. <laughs> One of the weirdest things you can get in your inventory, the passed out frog. It looks like he's only passed out. Whew. What a relief. So we could explore, yeah, we should explore this room more. Don't worry, man, I'll get you to Frida eventually. Oh, Chibi Robo. Just look at that, will ya? Mr. S or Matt Sanderson's trapped in there, and he hasn't had any food or water for three days. The way he's being neglected is criminal. There ain't no two ways about it. Look at how young and strong he is. He's the picture of gallantry. Oh, if only I could open them blinds. That ain't nothing but wishful thinking, though. If I were prone to melodrama, 
I might freeze it like this. Dum 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 dum. The old dino can't open the blinds. Will Funky Phil ever know freedom again? Yeah, but I reckon that's what I'd say. Pretty sad, ain't it? If only somebody could open them for him. Alright, you don't have to be all melodramatic. I'll open the blinds. Oh man, Dinah's voice is going to kill my throat. I hope people enjoy the voices I do. They can either be funny or really bad. Who leaves a candy wrapper on a, a record player? Also, who has a record player anymore? <laughs> He's a mechanical toy flower. <laughs> come on, baby! Come on, girl, don't be like that! Oh, come on over here! Please, I'm on my fucking knees here! Okay, so I don't have knees, but... Give me some funky fresh love, or... I'll never get my funky self out of here! Work with me, just a little bit! Huh? Hey, Funky Robo! My corny friend here isn't showing me any love! It's left me in a very unfunkular bind! Could you open this for me, Funky Robo? Sure! Word? That's what I'm talking about! Wait a minute! I'll give it a little push! You catch it and save me! <laughs> I really like that, how you open the blinds. You the robot! Fuck you, Phil, just give you 35 happy points. You got 100 moolah. Spread the happiness. <laughs> and Dinah's over there freaking out. That crazy Mrs. Sanderson! She just has to shut the blinds. It's not like anybody's peeping in her window. But now I'll be able to kick the funk back into high gear and practice my moves. Woo yeah, Funky Robo. Yeah, you are! Funky Robo! That's a reward you get to check out my moves! Howdy, Funky! Long time now, see! Let me tell you, this old gal wanted to open the blinds for you, but... As any fool can see... These tiny arms of mine... Aren't fit to stir a pot of chili! You about startled me out of... My skin, Chibi Robo! You handled them blinds like a pro! Thanks! Dinah just gave you any happy points! Oh, you got one moolah! Spread the happiness! Now listen up here, Funky Phil! What say you shake off some of that dust and show me some boot scooting? Um... Uh, I don't believe in boot scooting before a marriage. How about it? For old times' sake. Well, um... Well, um... Um ain't no kind of answer. You been skipping meals again, partner? Men need to be manly. Manly, you hear? How are you gonna find yourself a good little missus if you ain't got no spunk? <laughs> Just wait for it to almost be done before I start. If worse comes to worst, I know a certain dinosaur who'd bite the bullet and marry ya. Oh, stop your wilting, you dang fool. I'm just pulling your leg. Stem, it's a joke. J O um, K E. Being stuck inside all the time's made you plumb crazy. How are you gonna get ahead in life if you ain't got a sense of humor? Come on, let's get a move on! Hold everything! I got a riddle for you. Do you know what kind of race a T-Rex can never win? The answer's right in front of you. An arms race! Oh, Dinah, I like you. <laughs> get it? 
Arms race! <laughs> We're the Chibi Robo and Funky Phil are, are the worst audience for jokes. It's a little gag, little, like my arms. I got a million of them, fellas. <laughs> They're like, no. Hey, I ain't done yet. We're going to Funky Fields. Oh, not Funky! This game is so weird, but I love it so much. Truly, you will never find another game like Chibi Robo. Not even other Chibi Robo games are like this one. Just like I remember, Funky Phil is... Funky! Literally, Dinah's comedy routine was longer than that. If I was ten years younger, that boy'd be mine for sure. Ain't no two ways about it. Right, Chibi Robo? Um, sure. <laughs> Darn tootin'! You're brighter than you look, partner. Gee, thanks, Dinah, for that backhanded compliment. What in tarnation? But funky Phil? Something? Something fell off ya! It's a darned gold seed! Well, why am I blushing? It's only a seed. Snap out of it, Dinah. Go get that seed and see what it is. But Funky feels a toy, and he dropped a real seed. Funky seed. Funky seed? If it's a seed, uh, should you plant it? I don't know if I'm ready for that. Yo, Funky Phil. Vance, it feels so deliciously funky! Funky Phil just gave you 35 happy points for literally no reason. And you got $100 for literally no reason. Spread the happiness. One day, I'm gonna be a major label and dance under the galactically funky stars. You'll be there to see me, right? I better get practicing to make that happen. <laughs> the characters are so weird. Also, there, there's glowing liquid around him. If you try picking it up in the squirter, you get funky sweat. It's literally funky Phil sweat. How a toy flower sweats, I don't know. But if we spray it on him... Yeah, that's what I need! Smooth! Thanks for squirting my sweat back on my body! That is disgusting! I'll give you five happy points for it, though! <laughs> Yeah, of all the liquids you can pick up in the game, Funky Sweat is without a doubt the weirdest one. Well, I'm not sure if I'm ready to plant the seed yet. Like, nah, we just met these two and we're moving their quest really fast, so... I think that's- I think I've had enough in the bedroom. I know I've barely even scratched the surface of it, but we'll explore more tomorrow night. <laughs> Tomorrow, for sure. There's Frida. Sup, girl? I found your boyfriend. How long is that loser boyfriend of mine gonna keep me waiting, Ribbit? Honestly! I got a passed out frog. Is this your boyfriend? Oh! F Fred, you're alive! You sure got yourself into a mess! Frida, I'm done for. Ribbit. I got mistaken for food and chewed to bits. Yeah, look at these Lego block imprints. What did I tell you? That house is dangerous! You got hurt because you didn't listen to me, as usual! Don't talk so loud, My head still hurts. You don't know what pain is, my friend, but you're going to find out pretty soon. What? 
This is not a, a good relationship. Oops, maybe I was better off as a dinosaur snack. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ribbit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if we caused any trouble. See you later. Frida just gave you 66 happy points. Spread the happiness. Fred the Frog did not give you 66 happy points because he is not happy to be back here. You all help me. You just wait for what's in store for you. That's not good. Oh, it's Tao. I'm just a frog, man. I didn't know Tao actually appeared. I forgot Tao appeared in the backyard. So one last thing I'm gonna try to do, I hope I have enough time for it, is we dug up the scurvy splinter an episode or two ago, but we didn't actually give it back to Captain Pointbeard. I'm going back to the basement and giving it back to him. Oh cool, I have enough time. Hey, Baroque. What's that, Chibi? Have you found me long lost ship already? Yep. The scurvy splinter. <laughs> it's bigger, far bigger than we are. We've been lugging it around for the last day and a half. I actually think we only dug it up last night. I actually don't remember. It's been a while since I've recorded this. I love that evil laugh. <laughs> Um, is... is this your ship? Yar, it be mine, you floating kelp cube! That's me scurry splinter! Me ship! Ye've earned me thanks! Captain Blackbeard just gave you 66 happy points! We have, like, doubled our happy point total today. Like, holy cow. Spread the happiness! There's treasure awaiting, and me thinks I'll be getting me some. Hmm. I says, there's treasure awaiting. Anchors away, me hearties. Yar. Yar. Barnacles and bilge pumps. I've got no blasted crew. What? what? I then, there's only one thing to do. I need ye to find me some brave lads who yearn for a life of swashbuckling adventure. If ye find me four brave men and brave and true, I'll... I'll... Yes? Yar, I'll have no choice but to give ye me treasure map. Got it! One pirate crew coming up! I love treasure! Come on, Chibi Robo, let's get out there and find four crewmen for Captain Pikebeard. Courage, me lads, courage! His side quest not be over yet. In fact, his side quest isn't even over after you get his crew. We actually dipped the pit toothbrush in OxyClean before we actually started cleaning. <laughs> it gets the tough stains out. <laughs> I'm not sure what's weirder. The fact that the dad is like, I don't need a toothbrush, or the fact that the family has literally no bathroom, as far as I can tell. Let me sw scrub your feet, sir. Your, your wood's getting all rotten. Let me help you out there. <laughs> Actual footage of Jesus washing his disciples' feet. Wow! Look at that shine. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode of Chibi Robo. That was a kind of a long one. I can cut some of that out, but. Oh, Chibi Robo, we should be getting out of the Chibi House!
We actually accomplished a lot. We finished up the training for the Free Rangers. We gave the shit back to Captain Blankbeard. Started a lot of Adina and Funky Phil sacrifice. Great work out there! Let's adjust your happy point total. Your achievement ranking has gone from 10 to 9 for making it into the top 9. Citrus have to send you a special gift of brand new Mars battery! Whoa, would you look at that? Your battery power went up to 200! Aw, yeah! In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 159 more happy points. But while you're here, General, would you like to say it? Alright, my voice is about to give out, so I need to end now. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. The plot of the game is actually going to advance pretty significantly. We're going to take the next big step towards the main quest, and it involves going to the bedroom and uh, talking to the mom at night. <laughs> We're taking out the trash at night. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Thank you. Uh, I look, hope you tuned in for that. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.